Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of Odd Animal a Day. Today we're on to letter J, which stands not for jackrabbit, but for this little critter up here, a jerboa. And jerboa are these desert hopping rodents that are native to Africa and Asia. You can find them in the Sahara and the Gobi deserts and they can run up to 24 kilometers per hour on these long back legs that are tiny, but kind of reminiscent of kangaroo legs. And with that, they have super short, um, almost prairie dog-like forearms and whiskers and really tall, long ears for this particular species of jerboa, the long-eared jerboa. So grab your markers and a piece of paper and we'll get started. Here's my demo drawing, of course, to show you before we start. We'll begin with the eyes, as always. I'm going to start at the about center of the page, halfway up over to the left just slightly because we'll leave space for his long tail, which can have a little tuft on it at the end here. So with my piece of paper oriented short ways towards me, I'm going to start with the eyes. So two small dots over to the left-hand side here. I'm going to put about an inch in between them and then we'll do that C curve to round out the eyes. There's one facing in the correct direction then we'll do a backward C. So there's his eyes. His head is kind of a teardrop or maybe you could say a triangular shape but I want it to be curved right so curved at the bottom point and up around where we're gonna put the ears. So we'll start above his left eye here Curve it around, comes to almost a point there. Back up around the right and connect across the top. Next we'll do his nose. So they have a little nose, it's gonna be an upside down triangle. So straight line across the top and then we'll draw two lines down to connect. He has really large ears of course, almost like a jackrabbit's ears. So a curve up to the top you can make them pretty big and then we'll draw another one inside of there just to give them a little depth and same thing on this side approximately the same size and shape almost like rabbit ears there you go next the body I'm just gonna do a not quite perfect circle from his bottom portion of his face Curve it back up to the top here. So you can see approximately it's a little bit bigger, um, maybe twice-ish the size of his head. And then we'll add the tail and legs and arms on from there. So starting underneath or just to the right of his nose, I'm gonna draw that curve back up, connect that with his head. Next, we'll do his legs. So like I said, he has these kangaroo-like legs which he can hop and run on. So I'm gonna do two sets of parallel lines pointing towards the right here. So maybe a centimeter or even less in between each of them. Here's one and two. And then we'll do the same thing here, one and two. So that's the upper part of his legs. I'm gonna add the bottom portion on and draw two parallel lines coming out in the opposite direction. So here's one, two. If you need a little bit more space to connect, you can always do so. One and two, and I'll just draw that up to connect it. And then he has little bitty feet, so we'll do the little toes with just those curves to connect. There's three. His front arms are really short compared to his back legs. So I'm gonna start with just a simple two parallel lines and they're a lot shorter, right? That length compared to what we did for the legs. And then we'll do one, two, three, for his little fingers. And then I'm just gonna draw the suggestion of those fingers from the other side because they're tucked back behind his body since we're seeing him from the side. So there's one, two, three. You can see his stubby little arms. We'll do the tail then, and this you can get creative with. You can just start a squiggly line. They're pretty long tails. And then I'm gonna curve it over at the bottom here and draw it to complete it all the way back up 
to the top there. And some jerboas, they have a little tuft on their tail, so if you want to add the texture of fur, maybe you just draw some lines out from the very end of it there. And then the last thing, of course, is whiskers, because they have a mouse-like face. So I'm going to draw a few lines out to either side. And there's your jerboa. We'll see you tomorrow.